This episode of Rumor Roundup is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm not Noah Kravitz. He's on vacation trying to learn how to join the rodeo. I am John Rettinger trying to fill into his size 12 shoes. We got a lot to talk about today. We've got the Samsung Galaxy S3. We've got a new Mario title on the horizon. And we've got a new nude <laughs> and we've got a new razor supposedly going to be called the droid razor hd there is not an apple rumor amongst us that's how you know noah's not hosting i'm john rettinger let's start the roundup so we've been hearing a lot about the samsung galaxy s3 for what seems like months now this week on monday samsung finally invited press to a may 3rd presumed unveiling in London of the Galaxy S3. One of the more extreme rumors that we've heard is that there'll be support for wireless charging. While inductive charging isn't anything new, we just have to look to the Palm Pre and the touchpad to see examples of what wireless charging can do. Uh, seeing it reach mainstream and seeing it get that widespread adoption that we expect the Galaxy S3 to have is very interesting. So how that wireless charging is gonna work is still remains to be seen, whether or not you got to put it on a pad, whether or not you can plug in some sort of wireless charging accessory and it'll charge your device within a certain radius, which kind of creeps me out a little bit. Uh, it's sort of yet to be seen, but wireless charging is supposed to be on board. We're hearing also rumors of NFC, so expect a way to wirelessly pay for all that stuff and all the accessories you're gonna wanna buy for your Galaxy S3 as well. And earlier this week, Boy Genius also reported that the Galaxy S3 was going to be the official phone of the London Olympics, which is quickly coming up. So expect to hear a lot more about the Galaxy S3 as the weeks and months continue. And certainly on May 3rd, Techno Buffalo will be there bringing you the latest. So let's go ahead and go from phones to the world of gaming and who's more iconic than Mario? We've got a Wii U console coming sometime this year. This June's E3 is a perfect platform to showcase the next Mario title. And that's exactly what Miyamoto, the head Nintendo guru, has said we're going to see. Now, there's been a lot of Mario titles coming out, and it's no surprise that we're going to see a new Mario title uh, for the Wii U. But what is surprising is that Nintendo registered the URL Super Mario 4. If you guys remember, Super Mario 3 was the last numbered title that we've seen in the Mario series. We've had Super Mario World, we've had Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, but we haven't had a true Super Mario Brothers since 3, which goes back quite a while. So now maybe we'll see a Super Mario Brothers 4 finally grace our shells. I'm hoping for a side-scroller. I loved playing new Super Mario Brothers Wii. I would love to see sort of a better graphics, classic Super Mario Brothers side-scroller. It's one of the things I'm most excited about, the Wii U. I did have a chance to check out the Wii U while I was at CES. Came away really impressed with the graphics prowess. Graphics wise, it looks like an Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. So you are getting sort of current gen graphics out of a next gen console. Uh, certainly whatever Microsoft and Sony do next so it's surpassed in the graphics department, but Nintendo's never been on the cutting edge of that. But we are finally getting true HD. Hopefully we'll finally be getting downloadable content and all the rest of that stuff that you'd expect from a modern console that the Wii just hasn't delivered on. Speaking of things that I like, let's talk about go-to meeting by Citrix. Uh, Techno Buffalo, we've got staff all over the country and all over the world, and we want to get together. It's hard to do it over a conference line. The folks at Citrix have a solution with GoToMeeting. It's something that we use and something that we love. So if you, your office, or your family and friends want a way to communicate and collaborate while being able to see each other's faces, uh, GoToMeeting by Citrix is going to be an awesome way to do it. If you're not in front of a computer, you can take advantage of one of them newfangled iPads. You can use the iPad app to go ahead and check out GoToMeeting. You can use the camera built right in, and you can go ahead and talk, and you can get all your business on uh, with GoToMeeting. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face online meetings with GoToMeeting today. So Techno Buffalo viewers can try it free for 30 days. All you have to do is go to GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, enter the promo code TECHNO, and you are good to go. So remember, promo code TECHNO, you're good to go. I can also make word rhyme. So from phones to games, back to phones, we've got rumors of a new Razer phone getting close to hitting the market. Remember we had the original Razer, then we had the Droid Razer Max came out just a few months later with a gigantic battery. Now we've got rumors of the Droid Razer HD, and it's probably only a few more months before we hear rumors of the Droid Razer HD Max with an even bigger battery. So the folks at Droid Life found a Picasa gallery with some EXIF data in there, which sort of spilled the beans on everything. First, it showed that Droid Razer HD name. It was also referred to as the Vanquish. 
So whether or not that might be just a code name or what we might see when it comes to market is yet to be seen. So things are different in the camera department as well. It's got an f2.4 aperture, which is similar to what we see in the iPhone 4S. A 13 megapixel camera on board, so presumably 1080p video on um, hopefully pretty outstanding stills. Should have ice cream sandwich right out of the box as well. So what do you guys think? Are you excited about the Samsung Galaxy S3? Excited about a new Mario title? As excited as I am about a new Mario title. Or are you waiting for an ice cream sandwich pack in Droid Razor HD? This is Rumor Roundup. I want to hear all your comments down below. Be sure to check us out on technobuffalo.com for all of your tech news. Uh, for all of our Revision 3 shows every Monday, I'm back running through your viewer mailbag with Ask the Buffalo. You can go ahead and ask any questions you have from the world of technology. Every Wednesday, John Quatch is here putting his awesome video editing and camera skills to work with What's the Apps. And then Noah will be back next Friday with Rumor Roundup. John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>